We run community meals in here, so we have uh, some elderly, isolated and vulnerable people for whom coming to the meals is sometimes their only contact in a week. Uh, we also work with those that are out of work and vulnerable and we provide uh, on site there's debt advice and a food bank and a food distribution project. And then in the main hall here we also run a number of family events, so stay and play groups and events with Bouncy Castles and we have about 250 people a week coming through that. Uh, and all of that impacts on the lounge here. So we've started doing parenting courses and you know, benefits advice and all that kind of stuff. So it's a growing need. If we win that grant, that will help us by helping to replace the kitchen uh, and create a community lounge in our building. The lounge is not particularly nice at the moment. It's got mismatched furniture, most of which is second hand. A lot of it's broken. Uh, the carpet is stained and dirty and old and we'd like to strip the whole thing out, start again, put new furniture in, make it a comfortable, welcoming environment uh, and somewhere where people can feel proud to, uh, to come, feel relaxed and hopefully get the help they need. The money will pay for a whole new kitchen. We'd gut what's in there at the moment, move the gas, water, electricity, reline the floor, the walls, uh, so we get rid of all the broken and falling off tiles and the cracked, chipped, asbestos laden floor uh, and we'd be able to put in new ovens, dishwashers, uh, new work surfaces, a full commercial style stainless steel kitchen uh, which will then help us uh, in everything we're doing for the community. In terms of the floor, is that currently dangerous? No, it's not dangerous, uh, it's just not particularly nice so it, it, no matter how many times you mop it and clean it, it still looks dirty because it's old, cracked and chipped. Uh, and obviously with asbestos, uh, whilst it isn't dangerous until it's moved, it would be preferable if it wasn't on site at all. For some people who come here for these meals, this, you know, this service is, is vital. Uh, there are a lot of people who in our area are elderly, isolated, and as I said, sometimes this is the only contact they have in a week. We went, I remember going carol singing one year in December and we knocked on this elderly gentleman's door and he said we were the first people he'd seen in three months. Um, and then you know, from that he started coming to these events and he has weekly contact and is beginning to build community. And so projects like this, where we are able to engage with people, befriend them, uh, meet them in their needs and provide them with food, uh, is, is a growing need and it's, it's vital for them. So every vote will count and if we can finish in the top four, we will win this award. Um, and whilst it might be slightly difficult to vote, it is well worth the couple of minutes that it will take everyone.